Dibrugo constituency is one among the 14 constituency which holds its significance due to its history of uh, electing MPs to become the central ministers in the government. Uh, today I am here at Dholia Gao in Dholia Jan. And in this constituency, the tea garden voters play an important role, which you can see the Jumu dance is also going on. ये आप देख रहे हो कि यहाँ के जो लोकल्स हैं ये बिहू डांस कर रहे हैं और हम इनसे जानते हैं कि इस बार कौन जीतेगा इस बार कौन जीतेगा सर्वानंदा सो यू कैन सी दे ऑल द सपोर्टर्स ऑफ सर्वानंद सोनुआ Right now, I am joined by sitting MP Rameshwar Teli from the Brugger constituency. He is here to uh, campaign for Sarvanand Sonwal, who is going to contest from the Brugger constituency, who is the former CM. You are not taking this time. Look, this time the party has decided that Sarvanand Sonwal will be given a ticket from the Brugger people. And as I said in 2014, this people will be एक लाख बयासी हज़ार वोट से जीता था और 2019 में थ्री लाख सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड तीन लाख बासठ हज़ार से इस बार सर्वानंद सोनवाल जी पाँच लाख वोट से जीतेंगे क्योंकि ये करीब दस साल में केंद्र की जो सरकार थी बहुत से ऐसे काम हम लोग किए हैं जिस कारण से और आसाम में जो साढ़े सात साल की जो सरकार है सर्वानंद सोनवाल जी सी थे अभी हेमंत भाई शर्मा जी ये इनके कार्यकाल में जो काम हुए इसे अनुमान हम लगा रहे हैं कि सर्वानंद सोनवाल जी पाँच लाख वोट से ज़्यादा जीतेंगे आज देख रहे हैं कि हम जब पहले मीटिंग करते थे जब 2014 की बात है पूरा कंस्टिटेंसी में इतना लोग होते थे अब एक पंचायत में इतना लोग हैं इसे पता चलता है कि इस बार पाँच लाख से ज़्यादा वोट से सर्वानंद सोनवाल डिब्रूगढ़ लोग सुबह से जीतेगी सो यू कैन सी दर्वानंद सोनवाल है जस्ट अराइव एट द वेन्यू फॉर द कैंपेन सर्वदा सो हाउ इज कैंपेन How is the preparation going on? It's got like people are charged up and people are very cooperative and very happy. You have contested and emerged victorious in 2004 from the party AGP and back uh, now you are contesting from the BJP in 2024. What is the difference between 2004 election and 2024? My first question to you is. First answer is, is that uh, people are very happy. Mm -hmm. People are like you know very much excited, mm -hmm. and it has been well reflected through their jubilant faces. Mm -hmm. And because their happiness stand because of honourable prime minister's able leadership, and whatever service he has entered in the last ten years, mm -hmm. it is unique. Every section of society, every citizen, they got benefit of it, and ultimately, uh, they have got the social justice, 
social security and economic upliftment and also dignified way of living. So these are the unique like you know, experience people have got in the last 10 years. And Congress, during their 60 years rule, they, they have miserably failed because of their like bad governance, their corrupt practices, mm. their kind of irregularities and their family politics and communal and distinct discriminatory divide and rule. And that is the way like I believe Congress is now totally rejected. Mm not only in Assam, but entire, from the entire Northeast. And I firmly believe that uh, Honorable Prime Minister is the like, natural choice for the voters, not only in Assam, but across the country. To, he is going to become the uh, like Prime Minister for the third consecutive term. And people firmly believe that if he is there, the leadership, then this India is like definitely going to become the top three nation top three, top economy of the world, so no doubt about it. So, that. so uh, you are considered to be the blue-eyed boy of Prime Minister Modi and you have worked together so closely with PM Modi. Uh, can you just share with us two incidents of his working style that blew your mind? Oh my God, because he like uh, he, he carries them divine quality. Mm -hmm. Because normally as a human being, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. Working hard 20 hours a day, mm -hmm. that too, it full of dedication and devotion and concentration. And I believe these are the exceptional quality he possesses. And that is why he is successful. That is why he is close to the heart of the people of the country. Any incident with you which you which you always remember? No, no, I always remember because whenever I got opportunity to talk to him, huh. so he always remind me, so don't take anything casual. Huh. Be like serious, be committed, be dedicated, whatever you do for the people of the country, for the people of your society. So these are the rare moment, rare and rarest moment, because normally uh, I have also worked under many leaders, but Modi is exception, Modi is okay. like So you are the hero who got Assam read of uh, IMDT. So now you are taking the side of uh, Ka, uh, why? No, no, it's like an you know, IMDT was a discriminatory law mm -hmm. that was imposed only in the state of Assam. Mm -hmm. That was more dangerous. Mm -hmm. Ka is a national law, isn't it? Okay. If anybody has any objection, mm -hmm. they must approach to the court of law. That's all. Okay. So, uh, Lur uh, Lurin Juti is contesting against you, who, who marched uh, after protesting the Ka. And Dibrugar was the epicenter of the Ka protest. Do you think the contest between uh, Lurin and you is also the referendum on Ka? No, no, because the people you might have seen. Last time, people had different reactions because they have been misguided mm. by the Congress propaganda, isn't it? Mm. Just to achieve their like you know most you know dirty design and also the bestest interest, mm. whatever like you know uh, like figures they have propagated across the people and made the people uh, emotionally very excited. Mm. But now people have come to the reality. They have come to know. No, it is not happening. Congress has misguided. The other party has misguided. Now that is why this time people have shown how they are approaching to the court of law. Even they have went to the uh, kind of, you know, Supreme Court of India and filing the petition. That's the right way of proceeding. How many seats you are predicting for the NDA this time? NDA across the country, 400 plus, no doubt about it. Hmm. And BGP alone is 370 plus and in Assam, 12 plus. Okay. How you rate Assam CM Himanto Vishwa Sharma in the last three years? Of course, he's working hard and he's uh, trying to excel the growth of the state of Assam. Thank you so much and wish you all the best. Thank you. The Dibrugar constituency is all set to have triangular contest as anti cap poster boy Lurin Juti Gogoi, BJP Sarvanan Sonwal and AAP candidate Manoj Dhanwar are all contesting from this prestigious constituency. Each of these belong to different background and having their own political experience are trying their best to connect with their voters. Now it's the time for voters to select their representative wisely. This is Afrida Hussain with camera person Tapos Berry from Dibrugarh.